right. Hey guys, we're back at our Mar Vista house. Got it painted. We still have some window work that we got to do in this window over here. So we're in Mar Vista, beautiful sunny day. We're just wrapping up the paint. So it used to be this like, this is the nine unit. So that it used to be like this tannish color. And then we just did this like really cool. It looks white, but it's like this silverish blue. It's close to white, but it looks beautiful. So we just, we're finishing painting it, getting ready for lease up. Just finished renovating it. So it's a beautiful home. Let's pop inside. I'd say we're about 96% done. The remaining 4% is like all this touch up paint, you know, cleaning debris and items that need to be removed. But the house is definitely lease ready, definitely, basically moving ready. Yeah, we definitely start showing it and just letting people know about all those finishing touches that need to happen. So we did it. Talk louder? Yeah. Okay. We don't have the microphone, so. No microphones. I don't talk louder. So we painted we painted everything inside. We kept we kept a lot of the floors, had to do some like we had to get very um, creative with some yeah. spots, but if you gotta remember this is where there used to be a wall that was up here, so we replaced we started to demo the wall, had to replace some of the flooring, and there was this part of the kitchen, we also demoed demo out this portion, so we basically made a much more open concept, which is, you know, the modern look that people want when they're renting, uh, especially on the west side. So, put the new countertops, um, new stove, cabinetry, this old built, newly built. Put in new backsplash tile. Yeah, brand new cabinets, all new fixtures. Flooring. So just really open up the space. I mean, it really makes it like a new home. And then we built this really cool pantry over here. And the fridge was actually tucked away in like right here. So it really closed off the kitchen. We did some new floor tile in here, really cool. Um, and it's beautiful. New light fixture up there. And then we did a new dining room light fixture. There was these like super old style chandeliers. So floor tile throughout running into this downstairs bathroom. So this is bedroom number one, got some nice mirrors. Uh, you're gonna have to move that wood piece down there. Oh, okay. This is bedroom number two. So we put ceiling, new ceiling fans in all the bedrooms. We kept all the flooring, just touched it up, painted everything, still have a nice, Bathroom in here, kept all this tile. This is probably the nicest bedroom down here. It's nice and big. There was like this huge wardrobe. It was built in, yeah, it was a built-in wardrobe, so we had to remove it. And then I believe we had to replace some of the flooring. Yeah. Below this you road. can't even tell. I mean, this was, there was like huge squares missing from here, and we, you know, the contractor did quite, quite an awesome job. Great job. Also, a nice closet space for this bedroom. Let's show the living room really quick because I didn't get here. So we actually painted, this was like this old 90s wood, um, didn't look very good. So we painted this, put on new fixtures, sanded and painted, and then painted um, the wood trim around the fireplace. And now it's it's beautiful. Yeah. I often think about like what's going to be in style in 10, 20 years from now yeah. because you're talking about the 90s wood, like that was in style back then. So. We try to do things um, to be, you know, more more timeless, so that we don't have yeah. to renovate in ten, in ten years from now. Um, so we put in there was like a hanging chandelier here. We did this really cool light fixture that we'll be able to see once we get upstairs. This is by far the best part of the house, in my yeah. opinion. So we put in a drop down ceiling fan for this upstairs space. And this, this mantle was so cool that we kept it. But you have upstairs fireplace. This is, come on. This is it. I don't know how many homes have this on the west side. And I know we've shown this before, but you can see down into Marina over there. You have Venice, Santa Monica, and then all the way towards Malibu Palisades. So. Finally a clear day. We've had a lot of rain, a lot of fog, but it's finally a clear day so we can actually show you how beautiful it is up here.
And then, so this is the house, and then this is a nine-unit apartment building that we also own, 20,000 square foot lot. Um, and now we have plans in place to uh, submit it to the city to convert that nine-unit, hopefully, into 12, potentially 13 units. So it's just, it's like super clean. Ceilings, I don't know if you yeah. the ceiling heights, but those are massive ceilings. You have a second balcony here. I don't think we need to go outside no. again, but you can see having two big balconies upstairs is really cool. Our bedroom. So nice three bedroom. bedrooms downstairs, two upstairs. Nice. We have a closet. And this is a good sized bedroom. This is probably 130, 140 square feet. Probably locked. It's locked. Yeah, I gotta go around. You're gonna hulk it down. You're just gonna kick down that door. Well, you had to do that last time. Yes. Downstairs because it was painted. In. <laughs> and this this house has central heat and AC throughout, um, which is also a great bonus to uh, homes in Mar Vista. And uh, this is a vanity. We painted it, sanded it, cleaned it up, all new handles. Got like a steam shower over here. Really nice. And then here is, I would call this probably the master bedroom. Um, it's a little bit bigger, bigger closet. So a huge closet and then you have an ensuite. And we did the same thing here. Just we kept the tile, kept the vanities. Just really cleaned it up. Huge tub. It's really nice. And then you can see into the backyard, play a little tennis. There's a tennis court, mm -hmm. neighboring property. We so actually we talked, talked to them, them, right? Yeah. Well, we talked to the other guy in the yeah, store. True. And then, so we're finishing up painting. Guys are here just doing the touch up work on the exterior. And then this landscaping, this was like mud, grassy dirt. And so we, We'll go down there, we'll pop outside, show you the backyard, but we put in new mulch, new like wood chips, make it super functional, cleaned up the landscaping too. So this house is now on the market for lease. It's what, five, basically five bedrooms. Five I think bedrooms, four five. really functional bedrooms. Yeah. The the other one can be like an office, a workout room, potentially a kid's room. Yeah, I think if it's roommates, it's a totally functional bedroom. If it's more of a family, they'd probably use it as a den or game room for office. Yeah. And this home is 35, 3,600 square feet, so it's really big. You have three garages and, and an entire backyard. And views, I mean, it just the views, it's the biggest selling point here. All recessed lights. So here is... The bag, washer, dryer over here as well, which looks like it's painted over, so yeah. I'm not going to open it, but you got your washer, dryer in here. So here you can kind of see the difference. So this is white, and then this is this silver, silver blue. It looks really nice. And then we'll pop down, show the backyard. Hello. Hola, ¿cómo están? Bien, bien, gracias. And so now this is like a fully functional area. Before it, you, it, was, it would get muddy when it rained. It was overgrown grass and weeds. And then we did a lot of landscaping. You have some firewood uh, bonus. The so. garage also, there's three garages. There's a two-car garage on the south side of the property, and then the north side of the property has a single-car garage that goes all the way through to the backyard, which is really cool. Um, you have roll-up doors on both sides, so you can theoretically take one of the cars all the way through if you have a lot of cars to park. <laughs> yeah. uh, if it's like roommates, then they want to park tandem. So I think we're really happy with how this is uh, beautiful we're really excited and uh hopefully we'll have some more news here at this property when we start yep. construction on the nine unit we'll, we'll, we'll make sure to be back here